Open on page 404 in your math books. Where's your math book? So that'll be a deduction. You can have to follow along as best as you can and make sure you get this done in your study hall. On page 404, you see a little chart there with comparison. Because today, we are talking about capacity. The I can't say today is I can find the capacity of an object. Say that with me. I can find the capacity of an object. So how much room is inside this? Before we start talking, I want you to copy down that graph in your notes. On page 404, you see a box cut in the middle. I want you to copy it and everything inside onto your notes. It should be right underneath the lesson number 78 in the I can statement. Make sure you're copying down the graph on 404 in your notes because I'm going to collect your notes next week. Because you have a test next week. Today is 78, 79, 80. We'll have a practice test, a test. And then if you guys are all good and getting, you can bring your material, maybe we do something fun instead of a homework assignment. Because that way you'll have no homework over Easter. Okay. Antoine. Copy down the graph on page 404, U.S. customary standard or system and metric system. Antoine, make sure you copy this down later. All right, I see most people are, people are done. If you don't have it done, then make sure you get it done during a study hall. Today is, we're talking about capacity, like I said. This is not something I'm particularly great with. This is probably my least favorite form of math, is you know, comparing sizes and stuff like that in liters and all that stuff. My least favorite. So make sure today you are paying close attention so we can work all of this through. You understand, I understand. If you guys do well today, and there's no talking whatsoever at your exit ticket, I'll give you a, a worksheet that has six problems on it, all about capacity, because I don't like capacity. I think it's really difficult, so I want to make sure you understand it. If, uh, if you're not focused or you're talking during this lesson, I'll give you the worksheet and all 30 problems. You have 36 problems for tomorrow. So you can have either six or 36. It's up to you. Because the six are not that hard, to be honest. You just got to make sure you know what you're doing. Go to example one <clears throat> on page 405. In fact, there's not going to be a whole lot of writing on the board that I can really do. It's weird. But, and also those are at home, make sure you're following in your books, page 405 now. This is why this lesson is hard. And I'm sorry, next unit will have the PowerPoint back. 
because for some reason they won't work until 80. Then 81 works, and then there. Everyone, look on the top of page 405. You can see how much is a gallon. Because you get a gallon of milk at the store, you can see how much a half a gallon is. A quart, a pint, a cup, all the kind of stuff you can find at Quick Trip. Because I love their milk. Their, that's my favorite milk, Quick Trip milk. So example one, it says, copy down example one in your notes. Copy down the question. A half gallon of milk is how many pints of milk in your notes? In your notes. Example one, write down, take half a gallon, the question, so that when you're working through your exit ticket, you can reference this question. All right, so it says you got a half gallon. It's asking how many pints? In order, because you can see the solution below. Okay, Joan, you've been testing me. 120. Yes, Karen? Huh? You didn't say anything? I don't know. He's been testing me. His clipboard's not even in his hand. Maybe if he started writing right now. So first we got to change that gallon, so just a half a gallon, into what's the next thing below half a gallon on top of 405? What's the next thing? What's the next lowest below half a gallon? McKenna. Yeah, one quart. So you have to change quarts. Ah, see, this is this is what I don't. So you gotta change this into quarts. How much is a half a gallon in quarts? Asia. Correct. Why is it two quarts and not one quart? Why is it not one quart? This is a big part of today's lessons, boys and girls. Why is it two quarts? Why is half a gallon two quarts? It has to do with that graph you drew. Receive. Did everyone hear that? Because that was extremely correct. So I already said it because Reese has a tr problem sitting with her mask on. She said because one whole gallon is four quarts. But you have half a gallon, so you got two quarts because half of four is two. Do not, because I know I when I was looking at this lesson, isn't it tempting to say quarts is just one? because it says one quart up here. It's tempting, right? That's why I had you copy down this graph. Reference this graph, capiche? All right, now how many pints, according to your chart, are in a quart? How many pints are in a quart? Noah. Right, so for every quart, and sorry I'm abbreviating so much, so for every one quart equals two pints, how many pints, how many quart, quarts, ugh, you know why this is my least favorite lesson, how many quarts do you have together, Antoine? So you're going to have to take two times two, what do you get? Mia? Right, so you have four pints. And 
any questions how we found it. Why did I take two times two? And no, it's not because the book told me to. Why did I take two times two? Jonathan? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right. So you have to multiply it. It's a lot easier that way, right? Because what if this ended up being three quarts? So it would be three times two. See how that works? I still see some confused like yeah, this one. Yeah, my top one. So when you're doing this, I want to make sure that you understand that you're pretty much working backwards. Because you had two quarts, and since two pints equals one quart, you have to take two times two because you have to take the number of quarts, multiply it by how many pints there are, and you get your answer. Let's try number two. Example two. Write that in your notes. Also, boys and girls, if you're sitting by someone who's not been here in a while and you see them kind of slagging behind, make sure you say, hey, I won't give you a deduction if you're trying to help them out. In fact, I'll probably give you payments. All right. Which capacity a 12-ounce can or a one-pint container, which has more capacity? Go. No. Capacity. 12 ounces or one pint? First of all, hopefully you didn't just cheat and look at the solution. We have to change. Here, that's why we're going to use greater than or less than. We have to convert one of these to the other. So we have to change ounces to pints or pints to ounces. Let's change ounces to pints. How many ounces does it take to get a pint? According to your chart, your very nice chart, Asia, mm, let's figure this out. So first, they don't say how many ounces, I mean the expectations of being quiet and focused. So I'm hearing someone say, shh, 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 shh. So Marquise, make sure you track it up here. This is a tough lesson. This is I still don't like this. And I'm I'm 45 years old and I still don't like this kind of stuff. So Reese, what do we have to do? Why? Okay. What's the answer? Mm, let's do it this way. So first of all, we're gonna change ounces into cups. How many ounces does it take just for you to get one cup? Eight? Okay. So how many do you have right now? You have 12 ounces, right? So what would that look like? How many times can you fill in a cup with 12 ounces? Jonathan? You can fill up one point. How much is left over? Destiny? Right. How many cups does it take to make one pint? McKenna? So it takes two cups to make one pint. Do we have two cups? No. So we would have zero point something. 
So which one's greater, 12 ounces or one pint? Jonathan? All right. Is that what the book says? Yes. But for practice, let's go the other way. Instead of doing all our Naruto hand signs, let's go the other way. That doesn't mean you do it, Marquise. And those were not even really good hand signs. Anyway, so let's change one pint into cups. So how many cups is one pint? McKenna? Two cups. Oops, I want to do that in blue. Now, how many cups? Or how many ounces are in a cup? Just one cup. London. How many ounces are in one cup? One. Not one. How many ounces are in one cup? Mark, eight ounces. How many cups do you have? Show me with your fingers. How many cups do you have? So how do you get, what do you do with the eight? What do you have to multiply eight by? Noah? Right, Jonathan, what's eight times two? So you have 16 ounces. I believe someone said 16 before. I can't remember who said that, Reese. Oh, nice, good of you. Is 16 ounces more than 12 ounces? Yes. Yeah, 16 is greater than 12. Make sure you got both sides. Put this down here. Times two gets you. So make sure you have both sides in your notes. I pretty much think that going bigger to smaller is actually a lot easier than going bigger to uh, smaller to bigger, don't you think? Make sure you got both sides in your notes because I will collect these. These do go in as test grades. Any questions? Antoine. Where did you get the eight from? Where did I get the eight from? Great question because I was going to ask about this just right now. Page 40. For the chart I had you copy, Antoine, I asked how many how many ounces are in one cup. Look at the cups and ounces. How many are in one cup? Awesome. Now, how many cups do you have, Antoine? No. Yes. Now that means you have to take two times eight, and that gives you how many ounces? Correct. All right, Asia. Yeah, life gets that way. So if you're doing something like this, make sure you do, I would do bigger to smaller. Because that works out a lot better. Look at question A. Because let's do one more. What fraction of a gallon is a quart? London? One half. What? One half. Not one half, because this is one gallon is a quart. Think of the word quart. Have you heard that word quart before? Flip a coin. Quart. Reese? Oh, no. Destiny? What? What? Did you say 20? You said 14? Four? Oh, a quarter. How would you write that as a fraction? So if I gave you one quarter, how many does it take to get a dollar? One fourth. There you go. So I just want you to understand that a quart will always be one-fourth of a gallon. How do you remember that? Well, quart 
equals, think about it, quarter. So 25 cents. Okay. Trying to give you these little help, little tips to help you get through this. Okay. Okay, one more. Because, like I said, this is something I still struggle with, and I'm 57. I This is my least favorite math is doing this. So I want to make sure this is crystal clear. And you guys are doing so well, you only get those six. So make sure you keep your voices off and you're focused. Got it? Because there's a big difference between 6 and 36. All right. Letter C. It says a half gallon... Of orange juice will fill how many? How many? Forgive my spelling. You can see the words. Eight ounce cups. Copy down the sentence. I'm doing it short because I have to use my fingers. Letter C on page 405. Half, half gallon of orange juice will fill how many eight ounce cups? I can write the word cups. I can put the word cups. Let's see. Uh, Got it. All right. So we're taking this larger gallon and turning it into eight ounces. And we're going to see how many cups of eight ounces we can fill without spilling. Okay. So first we got to change gallons into the next size down. What's the next size down below gallons? I know these two know. Does anyone else know? What's the next size below gallons? Page 405, very top. It shows you half gallon to a... Tamari. No. We have a half gallon. We're looking for what's below half a gallon. McKenna. A quarter. Now, how many quarts are in one gallon? Listen to my words. How many quarts are in one gallon? Monte. Now, we're dealing with a half gallon. So how many quarts are we looking with? Are we working with all four? Tamari? Sorry, what? We're doing two, right? Yeah. People, please speak louder. I have bad hearing because I'm 85 years old. Okay, so now we got two quarters. Now we need to turn quarters into pints. So how many pints do we have? London? No. Destiny, four pints because one quarter equal, wait, let me say this right. One quart equals two pints. Since we have two quarters, we have to take those two and multiply it by the two pints. So now we have four pints. All right, now we got to change pints into cup. It says one pint equals how many cups? Miera? What was it? Right. So only two pints equals, or one, uh, one pint equals two cups. How many pints do you have? Show me with your fingers. How many pints do you have? Look around, given the peer pressure if you have to, because a lot of people are right. Looking for 100%. Yes. So do you add, subtract, multiply? What do you do? All right. Right. What are we multiplying together? We got a four and a... Right. Which equals Antoine? Eight. Right. So we have eight cups. Okay, now, how many ounces, I'm sorry, how many cups equals an ounce? 
So that last line, just say the whole last line. One cup equals Asia. Right. Since it says that, we're looking for how many eight ounce cups we can fill. So we have eight cups. How many eight ounce cups can we fill up with eight cups? Lots of wording right here. Got to really read the words. Receipt. No. Because we're not looking for it to become ounces. We're trying to see how many ounces we have. And we know one cup equals eight ounces. We're looking for eight ounces. So the real question is, Antoine, not one. 16. But think about it. We have eight cups. Every one cup is eight ounces. So how many cups do you have in total in front of you to fill up? Do you pass Asia? Eight. 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 Ounce cups. Antoine. You said one. I'm not going to try to say like one big. You need to say it faster, but because we got time, I'm loud, and I'm really annoying sometimes. So sometimes I go too fast. Destiny's like, yeah, he is annoying. <laughs> um, but do you understand? Like what I'm trying to get in your head right now for question C, you have to read the question. Because Reese was perfectly reasonable in saying 64. Because so far, all we've been doing is multiplying by the last number. But the question asks, how many eight ounce cups do you have? One cup equals eight ounces. How many cups did you have? Eight. So your answer is eight, eight ounce cups. Okay. Any questions? Because I don't want you guys to be like, no, I have no question. And then I hand out your exit ticket. They're like, Mr. Seaver, I have a question. And then I got 17 hands in the line at the same time. So any questions? You might be someone as hero. If not, if you can say, I can find the capacity of an object, raise your pencil above your head. Remember, do not talk. I would rather you get 